Hi, I'm Rocco Steno and welcome to Storymakers. Today, we have a very special Storymakers because we have Matthew Reinhardt with us, who is the creator of many different pop-up books. But today, we're talking about What's Up Fire Truck, which is the first in the Pop Magic series. Hi, Matthew, how are you? I'm great, how are you, Rocco? Nice to be here. It's so nice to have you. What's, what's that noise? It's a siren, I think it's a siren. Hey, Matthew, I think this is the fire truck from your book. Hey, come back here. Here it is. I thought we were here to talk about a book. It is a book. That is magic. It is, isn't it? I wish I had one. Oh, hey, you want one? Here. Thank you. You're welcome. So, Matt, you're the creator of pop-up books. What exactly is a pop-up book? Well, a pop-up book, Rocco, is a book that has extra mechanics in it made out of paper. And they make structures, and sometimes they move, and they help tell the story. Pop-up books can be very complicated and make characters move or rise up from the pages. And other times, it can make whole scenes appear and then close between the pages of a book. To create a pop-up book, you have to be an engineer. That's right, Rocco. Actually, they call me a paper engineer because I cut and fold paper and figure out how all this goes together into a book. So pop-up books have been around for a long time, haven't they? Yes, they've been around for over almost 200 years. 200 years? Pop-up books have been around in different ways over those years. Sometimes they had full scenes that would come out of them, and then other times, as, as we've gotten better and better at paper engineering, they get to be much more complicated and intricate. You read this book and you play with it, don't you? Well, yeah, that's the whole idea. Actually, that's why pop-up books were initially made. They used them to play in. Do you have a favorite lift flap? Hmm, what's my favorite lift flap? I think I love looking inside the doors of the fire truck so we can see who's inside. And there's a cat that you're gonna see who's very lazy, sleeping. In fact, on every page, he's sleeping somewhere. So Matt, how do you make a book like this? Rocco, it takes a long time. I start out with just sketch ideas, and sometimes my sketches are three-dimensional. So I, I build little models like this, and then I build them even bigger to make sure the pop-up works right. See, there's a little pop-up in there. See, oh, there's, there's the ladder. So I have to build it over and over again. It's sometimes kind of hard. I have to build my, my pop-up probably about 10 to 20 times to make sure everything gets right. And sometimes I'll make it without the artwork. Here's a, here's a white prototype. See all the pop-ups are just the same, but there's no art. And then the last thing we do is add the art. Oh, here's one with sketches and words in it without any color. Can you show us how to make a pop-up book? You wanna learn how to make a pop-up book? Sure. Yeah. You use two pieces of cardstock, some scissors, a pen, and some glue. Fold that piece of cardstock in half, just like so. See, you made a card. Using the marker, I'm going to make two straight lines going down to the fold. One is longer than the other. And use your pair of scissors to cut along that line. Fold up a flap. Make sure that the edge of that flap lines up with the edge of your card. It doesn't have to, as long as it doesn't go over the edge, you're good, because you don't want your pop-up sticking out. Turn it over and fold it the other way. That makes our pop-up nice and loose. Open it up. All right, we're gonna pull that flap inside. That makes a box layer, look at that. All right, that's something, that's cool, but we wanna add more, you know? So now, fold two little triangles down. These are gonna make V-folds. See how I did that? There's one triangle. Then turn over your card, fold it the other way. And then we're gonna fold it back. This makes a nice crease for us. So when we pull in our V-fold inside the card, it'll start moving. Just like that. 
cool. Using my other piece of cardstock, I'm gonna cut a strip. <laughs> cutting, cutting. Some little flaps, those are gonna be arms, those long ones there. And I'm gonna make a square that's gonna be for the head because robots have square heads. And then another square, I'm gonna cut that square in half. Those are gonna be some little stubby legs. And these are the areas where I'm gonna add a little glue, just a little glue, not a whole big glob, because it'll get everywhere and it'll take forever to dry. I mean, I'm telling you. I glue the little legs in place just like that. And then put the arms up there, like so. Now let those pieces dry. That leftover rectangle that we made, fold it in half, and then make a little slit like this, that fold there. Place some glue at the top of your box fold. To make sure the top of the slit goes just like that. Now that's the head, that's where the head's gonna go. Now we have a pop-up robot. He's reaching out to hug you now, get to draw. I am a robot, I like to hug you. I am a robot. Please plug me in, robot. Please don't reprogram me. I think some wheels would be good because robots should be able to roller skate. You did it! That's awesome. Thanks for making this pop up robot. I totally love you. Thank you for making me. Well, that was easier than I thought. And I'm sure our viewers will have lots of fun trying that. So, what other books should our viewers be on the lookout for? Well, let's see, there's lots, but um, there's a, maybe a book about a bulldozer. Oh. There's a book about colors, and also a big superhero pop-up book. A superhero pop-up book? I'm going to have to look for that one. You know what would be fun if our viewers suggest some ideas for future books. Would that help you, Matt? That would be fantastic. I'm always up for new ideas. In the comment section, tell Matt what type of pop-up book or pop-up magic you would like to see. Matt, thank you so much for telling us about pop-up books, and I can't wait to read and play with this book. Well, thank you, Rocco, and thank everybody for watching. I hope you all have fun with pop-up books. So remember, until next time, read a book in any format.